I was speaking at a meeting at a country club and I had planned to use their locker room to change my clothes. So I drove into the parking lot and I noticed it was filled with golfers and also conference attendees. Well, I inquired about using the locker room. They told me, I'm sorry, but it's reserved for the golf tournament. Well, I thought about using the restroom, but thought the audience seeing the keynote speaker in his underwear might be a little weird. I made a decision I would soon regret. Now I decided the back seat of my rental car had enough room for a wardrobe change. I parked a distance from the front entrance to stay out of view and moved to the back seat. Now everything was going smoothly. I had a crisp shirt, pressed pants, and my shoes were shined. And everything went on without a hitch. So I moved to exit the back door and I discovered a problem the kitty locks were activated. So to escape the vehicle, I'd need to climb over the front seat. Now, the first part of my maneuver went well, the second, not so much. Lifting my artificial leg over the front seat, I lost my balance. I launched head first into the dashboard and I landed on the floor. Now, I tore off three of my shirt buttons during the descent. Now I'm stuck. I'm thrashing about trying to extricate myself. Now, after a couple minutes, a club employee appeared at my driver's side window. I said, open up. And when he did, I toppled out from the car like someone who was falling over from a handstand. I asked the young man, how did you know I was stuck? He said, sir, I saw your emergency flashers and I thought, You'd wanted me to come and get your golf clubs. <laughs> Sometimes we get stuck physically, but more often we're stuck emotionally. The next time you feel stuck, here are a few alternative and useful ways to get yourself unstuck and moving freely. Get into motion because that will help your emotion. Sometimes we get stuck because we want to make that perfect next move. We spend excessive time planning and we obsess over what can go wrong. Now, careful planning, you know, of course it's wise. As long as they, we don't over plan and that becomes an excuse for not taking action. Hasn't it been your experience that often the quote right move is just to get moving? The decision to get moving will boost your confidence and the motion will change your emotion. Embrace the stuck as an opportunity. Now, if you shift how you perceived being stuck, it can change how you respond. Now, when you focus on what's wrong, you start to think negatively and you lose motivation and you stay in a rut. Now, being stuck, this is important, doesn't mean you suck. If you look for the positive aspects of where you are, new possibilities will emerge. It's time to reevaluate, re-energize, and repurpose. Being stuck presents an opportunity to find a solution you may have been looking for. Now, by the way, my presentation went pretty well, but my arm movements were limited. I had to be careful my dress shirt didn't fly open due to my missing buttons. <laughs>